And we begin this afternoon with that breaking news. Former U.S. gymnastics coach John Geddard found dead after being charged with sex crimes. We thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. John Geddard, who has ties to Larry Nassar, has killed himself, according to the state attorney general's office. Earlier today, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel charged John Geddard with 24 felony charges. Geddard was facing 14 counts of human trafficking, six counts of human trafficking of a minor, one count of first-degree sexual assault, one count of second-degree sexual assault, racketeering and lying to a peace officer. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner joins us live with the very latest on this tragic turn of events. Jim. Certainly stunning, and you went through the list. John Geddert knew this list of charges could put him in prison for up to life. We know that he drove to a rest area in Clinton County, west of Lansing, and took his own life with a self-inflicted gunshot. We don't know where he shot himself. He was supposed to turn himself into court and be before a judge in Eaton County this afternoon on these charges, and one of these lying to police about Dr. Larry Nasser. Mr. Geddert knew that Nasser was uh, sexually abusing these patients and that he failed to take action. Who was John Geddert? He was the owner, operator, coach at Twist Stars, an exclusive gymnastics club outside of Lansing. Geddert was also the 2012 U.S. Olympics coach. The 24 charges against him included two counts of criminal sexual conduct with two of the girls he coached. Dr. Larry Nasser had so many sexual assault convictions, he will die in prison. In 2018, Michigan State University settled with more than 300 Nasser survivors, paying them $500 million. The focus turned to Geddert after Nasser. And we got a statement this afternoon from Attorney General Dana Nessel. It says, my office has been notified that the body of John Geddert was found late this afternoon after taking his own life. This is a tragic end to a tragic story for everyone involved. There could be some scrutiny now for Attorney General Dana Nessel, how she handled this, why he was not arrested before he was charged. Reporting live, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, uh, more to come on this unfortunate set of circumstances. Thank you.